And welcome to The Strip Live, I'm Maria Now, and today our guest expert is Cheryl Dick. She is a successful entrepreneur, a professional speaker, and an executive coach. And today she's going to share a little bit about her life's journey and how she overcame obstacles to move forward in her life. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for being here. You're hailing all the way from Canada, coming here to Las Vegas. I am. Thank you for having me, Maria. Well, I want to start with um, when everybody in your life was telling you that you had it really good. You had a great job, very stable job. You had a wonderful marriage, still do. And people were telling you, you know, you should just be happy. But there was something that you felt was missing, that you wanted more in your life. What was that? Yeah, I mean, I had a, I did have a great career. A lot of people would be envious of that career. Mm -hmm. uh, I had great, great team that working for me. Lots of success. The team was doing really well, but I just felt like there was an inkling of something that was missing. I wanted to do more. I wanted to be more, and it was interesting because people were telling me just to stay put. You're a woman. You have a job. Just <gasps> stick with the job. You're gonna have kids later. Just don't go there. And I just couldn't do it. And and. I have a fabulous husband, uh, my soulmate, um, 29 years we've been married, uh, and he just stood behind me when I made the decision just to go and do something else. And your dad as well, didn't he? Yes, my dad um, always taught me to keep learning, keep growing, and keep impacting people's lives. So I had a lot of support that just kept saying, go for it. So then you made a decision to leave your stable job, and you started a company, a business and you actually went back to a company that you worked with. Um, tell me about that big aha moment. What happened that when you started your business and you went back to them as a consultant, what happened? It was, it was kind of funny. I, I started the company and it was a big step. I was, I was scared, really scared. I mean, I was leaving a well-paying job. Uh, we were early newlyweds. Um, and I was one of the, I was making a lot of money, uh, probably the primary money earner at the time because my husband was in university when we first got together. And I, um, I went out on my own and I got contracted back to the companies that I was working for. So I was making more money, I had more flexibility, more control, but the big aha moment for me was more respect. They actually respected me more in that position when I was consulting. So interesting. So let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. As if life wasn't already hectic, so you go, you start a business, you're getting some success in the business. Um, you also then decide to start a family, to have children, and go back to get your master's. The thesis route, and if anybody knows, that's crazy. Crazy. So much you know, time commitment. So as life is, you're just thinking about growth. You know, you're growing your business, you're growing your family, you're, you're, you're growing yourself. And then tragedy hits. You suddenly lose your brother. What happened? Yeah, it was it was a it was very very emotional, very shocking. Um, my son had just been born. Ten days after my son was born, uh, my husband came in and told me that my brother had been killed, <laughs> and it just rocked my world. And he, um, it felt like I'd had a piece of me ripped out. And the thing that really surprised me was how much it made me reflect on the value of family and the time that you spend together. You don't get it back if it's torn out of your life. And, um, but I could hear him in the background and I just know if we, if I hadn't moved forward, he probably would have come after me and told me to get moving. <laughs> and the, the, big, the big learning thing for me was realizing that the best way for me to celebrate his life was to make the most out of mine. So then you decide to slowly go back and as you're getting your life back in order, you're, you know, you're back to business, your world gets rocked again. Uh, your mom, whom you were extremely close to, started to battle some health issues. Um, and I'm sure you just, you probably felt like that, that's enough, I can't handle anymore. So, you know, tell me about that time in your life, what was happening? So in 2012, my mom got diagnosed with Alzheimer's and she was uh, one of my rocks. Uh, always there to listen to me, always encouraging me to do the most I could be. And the tables turned. So now it was my turn to look after them. Uh, we had to sell their house, put them up in a retirement community. 
And uh, two years into that, my mom passed away. Mm -hmm. And um, again, I felt like my life had been turned upside down. Um, and I realized though that I had lots of people telling me what to do. Lots of people saying that, oh, your life should fall apart because this has happened, that's happened. But I realized that the best the way I could celebrate her life, and it was okay to do so, was to go on and be the most who I could be. Because I know in my mind I heard this little voice saying, you can be more, you can do more, I want you to be the best you can be. Wow. Yeah. I was <laughs> a little touched by that. Um, I think it's so important what your what your your message is and that that it's okay and that you should move forward and that you should still go after your dreams even in the light of darkness. Yeah. Right. Um, so from all of that, you had to reevaluate your life and with you know what was happening with your family. What do you believe helped you move forward? If you could go back in, in, in time and kind of see what was happening, what helped you to move forward um, so that you could feel okay with it? I think there are a few things. One of them was uh, my clients were very understanding. I thought that, I w that this was gonna cause a lot of problems with my clients, but my clients actually stood behind me. They rescheduled around my parents and my chaos with my parents. Um, I, I reevaluated who I was doing business with and who was in my sphere of influence. So I, got, I actually removed some of my partners that I was doing business with and realigned with some people that truly believed the same things that I believed and were positive centered and supportive. And that made a huge difference to my life. So for anybody out there right now who's watching this, and I'm sure everybody can resonate, whether it's, you know, they're feeling that they could do something more in their life, they just don't have that support system, or they are, their lives are turned upside down right now and they don't know how to get out of bed. What is it that you want to share with them? I, I think that there's a few things I'd like to share with them. One is it's okay to follow your dreams. It's okay to want to be more than you are. And no matter what happens in life, there's always a way to move forward. And surround yourself with people that believe in you so that you can be the most you can be and impact the most people's lives. Well, Cheryl, I'm sure your brother and your mom are so proud of you. And thank you for doing what you do. And for anybody out there who wants to get more information on Cheryl, please go to CherylDick.com. Thank you. Thank you. Intro on camera. Camera was this again? I forget now. <laughs> Dos. Okay. Uh, two. And we're waiting for the standing ovation round of applause. <laughs> Here, we need this anyway. There, there's, there's one. You give me the rest. <laughs>